Hey, this is Mike. Just got in a 2015 Dodge Journey in black. Now this is the SXT model and uh, it does have leather seats and stuff. It does have interesting color combination. But um, let's take a look at it. You see it's got like a pretty neat looking front with uh, this part being a different color and then you got the chrome grill. You got the fog lights. It's a little bit windy today hopefully it will not affect the camera too much but here is the aluminum wheels pretty nice it's uh gives a little bit of a sporty look with those wheels on it in my opinion now this one does have the proximity key and remote start um, i'm gonna go ahead and start it up it doesn't have much gas in it so it'll probably turn right back off but i just want to show you that it does have remote start yeah, it's not even letting me start because of the, the, uh, the low fuel, but it's one thing to know about remote start. You have to have a pretty good amount of fuel in it. So you've got the privacy glass here in the back. SXT, we've got a V6, uh, 3.6 liter, which I'll show you towards the end. You've got the backup sensors back here, dual exhaust. It's got the backup camera. There's a lens there. And I'm going to go ahead and unlock it using the key. Put the key in my pocket. And let's go ahead and open it up. You can see there's the handle. There's the lens right there for the backup camera. And um, let's go here. So this does have a third row. It's a third row seat vehicle. And these seats do fold down. So you can have some... Um, additional cargo space if you need it seat belts in a way yeah somebody's buckled the seat belt actually let's see what it looks like yeah seat belt can be buckled if you want to put the seat down but back here you've got a um you know cup holders and pretty decent amount of leg room for a small suv with a third row but uh those do fold down the next row falls down and the front seat passenger side folds down so you can have like nine feet of cargo spe space from the back all the way to the dash there's a little storage privacy storage container here under here is your tools for your spare tire there is a rechargeable flashlight here so um, so that way you always have a flashlight back here if you leave it there power supply speakers tie down straps here and you also got some um, up there when you put the seats down right there and that's for your you know tie stuff down you also have a cargo net in here as well it's got the luggage rack racks right up here now there is um, some crossbars that you can buy in the service department they go from one side to the other in case you need them but uh, the default is like that for wind resistance so they can get better gas mileage it does have a fuel cap it does it is a flex fuel vehicle and um, so you can use e85 if you want but uh, one of the neat things that I always forget to show people is that you can hang the little string right here like that to keep the gas cap from you know hitting your paint here all right let's check out the inside like i said it is a, unusual to have a black vehicle with a tan leather interior so i think it looks pretty neat here's the inside of the back door here's the back seats the second row seats this folds down, you got some cup holders as well as armrest. Power supply right there. You do have a storage bin under the floor here on both sides. And in order to access the third row seat, you can uh, fold down the seat here. You can move the seat forward and back here. But as far as getting in the third row, use that. And the seat kind of sandwiches it up, sandwiches up 
and then you just kind of push it and it's pretty easy I mean it's not that hard but in that way you can you've got a small space there to enter the third row you push it back like so and then you drop that down and then you can slide it back like so with that switch lever I don't know if you can see the window sticker there, but this is where the pause button comes in handy. If you can even see it, there's a little bit of a glare because of the glass. But anyway, um, you can lock and unlock the vehicle. The, the key is actually in my pocket. I don't know if you can see in the reflection. It's in my pocket. I don't have the key in my hand or anything. And I can lock the door here. I can unlock it by putting my hand right here. There. Unlocks. Does have heated side mirrors. And this one's got the premium Alpine sound system. Here's the inside of the driver's door. It's got like a two-tone black. and um, It just says tan on the window sticker. Leather trimmed seats. Black and tan interior colors. So there's no fancy name for the interior color. Looks pretty cool though. Got the automatic lights. It's gonna hop in. And without taking the key out of my pocket, I can just put my foot on the brake, push the button, everything starts up. Yeah, you can see the fuel level is low. So basically, your remote start's not gonna work. Turn the AC down. warm enough to keep the AC on outside so I'm going to keep it on I'm just going to keep it from blowing on the camera move the seat back a little bit so here's the steering wheel you've got a leather wrapped steering wheel um, it looks it's a typical Dodge steering wheel it looks like the same one you see in a, most of the new Dodge vehicles and uh, on the right side you've got the cruise control settings there on the back of the steering wheel is a volume button. So I can turn the volume up and down back here. If I want to change the station, I can just change the stations like that. It's on the back of the steering wheel. So that way I can keep my hands on the steering wheel. I will go ahead and turn that down. Anyway, you can volume on that side, change to the stations on this side, and um, cruise control here. Now, on this side you've got two sections one is for your phone and voice recognition phone once your phone is paired you can make and receive fo phone calls by pushing that button um, you can push the button and say a, a number or you could say uh, call so-and-so that somebody if so-and-so happens to be in your phone book and uh, voice recognition that's where you can change the station um, you can call people that way you can set up different features um, and there's a whole guide on on the voice recognition and I have yet to do my video on the voice vo you know thoroughly on the voice recognition but I will do it soon hopefully so down here these buttons correspond to this little screen here right now we're set to vehicle speed so I'm going to scroll down let me get back out first hit the back button this has got a back forward and up and down so right now I can scroll up and down fuel economy vehicle speed trip info uh, tire pressure now I'm gonna go in here to vehicle info and push the right and now I can see the temperatures and pressures here engine hours stuff like that it scrolls back to the beginning and go back out of that the trip info let's go in there so you can see it has two trips Tire pressure, let's go into that and actually see the tire pressure on each tire. Messages. Fuel economy, let's go in there. Deal vehicle speed is pretty much the default screen that you'd normally keep on all the time. Now the rest of your gauges, you've got like a uh, black and red theme going on here.
and right here is your 8.4 8.4 Uconnect system. It does have navigation, a lot of cool stuff. Here's your different icons at the bottom. We'll start here at the radio, which is already at, and it has satellite radio, AM, FM, and your your favorite there at the top. It has like a little icon and kind of describes what's playing. When I go to player, um, it does have a CD player down here. It also has a, a, a SD card input, but um, but right here, you know, depending on your source, USB, Bluetooth, auxiliary, SD card, those are the different sources that you can uh, inputs basically for the system as far as playing music. Right now, there's no nothing inputted, but that's where you would you'd find that controls. This is where you can um, use your heated seats here in the front and your heated steering wheel. You can turn those on and off there. Here's your climate control. Now some of your climate control buttons are down here. Some of them are up here. So the main features that you would need to use like right away or whatever are down here. But we've got some stuff up here as well. Navigation. So here's your new your navigation screen. Um, you can view the map. You see what it looks like there. Or you can go to where to. And you can put in a specific address, or you can have your address saved in the go home section, points of interest, um, basically uh, fuel, food, stuff like that. So let me get back out of there. Now the phone, once your phone is paired, you'll see um, your, your favorites up there. You can send and receive phone calls. Your phone book will be here, your recent calls and uh, transfer that is a button this is transfer to where it transfers it if you're if you receive a call and you're talking to somebody through the system of the vehicle and you have other passengers in the vehicle that you don't want to really listen to your conversation then you push the transfer button and it transfers it back to your cell phone let's go to more this is where you got the serious satellite or serious travel link here and um, you know fuel prices it's got to update all that stuff but basically you can find um, your fuel prices right here and you can sort it by price or distance or the actual store itself let's see let's hit refresh data all right doesn't want to show me anything now it's showing the movie listings but as you see it has the same similar list there the fuel prices will show up just like that uh, weather there's your weather. Doesn't look good, does it? A bunch of thunderstorms. Three day, five, uh, three to six, twelve hour, five day. Change location. Now it doesn't have the exact place that you are necessarily. Um, it just gives you the nearest, like metropolitan area, which should, for me is Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, which I'm in North Carolina, but still, it's not that far. But that's a pretty cool feature there at the travel link. Um, so that down here's your buttons I showed you before. Nice big storage pocket down there as well as a power supply. Cup holders are here. There's your shifter for your six speed transmission. You can put it in reverse. And not only will your park assist turn on and you can see there that it's on, but you also have this uh, backup camera. And um, you know, you can see, you know, your vehicle all the way up and it's a wide angle view so you can get a really good view of the uh, you know what's right directly behind you this place is where you would not be able to see in your mirrors especially but you can also um, with the shifter you go down the drive and you're driving normal but if you want to change the gears up and down you can put it down here and um, you see it has a plus and negative you can you know, put it in different gears like say see where it says first second third fourth fifth it won't only go up to fifth when I'm playing around with it sitting here, not moving. But um, you know, you can you know just the uh, just that, and then you put it back in drive for normal driving. There's your armrest. It also opens up, and you've got some storage space in here. You got a power supply too, and that's where you'll find your auxiliary and your USB inputs. glove compartment and there's your voice recognition guide in there which you'll need that because it comes in handy we've got an auto dim rear view mirror right up here is your 
microphones uh, for your uh, like your voice commands and stuff so when you're speaking it'll that's where it listens to you you got these little lights they articulate like that this opens up and you got a place to put your shades but also if you lift it up like that you've got a little conversation mirror you can kind of keep an eye on the backseat drivers this is for your garage door opener you've got a mirror with lights same thing on that side forgot to show you it does have the controls in the back for the rear passengers the climate controls and you also have the vents and stuff in the ceiling put it back in park and let's look underneath the hood covered in plastic that's the way a lot of them are 3.6 liter VVT V6 Pentastar all right if you have any questions let me know my name is Mike and my uh, phone number and email address will be in the description See you next time.